Hey guys, and welcome to an original retry this reduction. Today I'll be offering my GML lesson number eight, teaching you about creation codes in Game Maker language, or GML. So this is going to be my eighth lesson, and I'm going to teach you about creation codes. So creation codes are really easy. What if, what they are are codes that occur when the room is started, when the room is created. Let's say, for example, my main menu room. I have a lot of stuff in my main menu room, which is for each tutorial. So to access creation codes, what you can do is you can go to settings and go to creation code. Now this code will occur when the room is created, obviously. So you can set up your room before it's even created. Now let's see if I have anything that I would want to. But yeah, let's go to my platform room. That would be easier. So creation codes are really easy. This is my platform room for all the some stuff I show. So I can tell it when the room is created. Instead of putting it in an object, I can just tell it when the room is created to do something. Let's say when room is created, instance underscore create. Now this is all I have in my room. The player, um, the terrain, the water, and this little platform hill thing. It's all I have. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the create the creation code to create some objects for me. I'm going to tell it the position and the location. I'm going to tell it to create these two power objects that I made in a previous tutorial, the thing and revert. So I can tell it when the room is created, instance underscore create. Let's say what position I want. Uh, let's say right here is 112 by 288. So creation code 112 by 228. I think that's what I said. OBJ underscore thing. no errors, and I want it to create the reverse object, I want it to create it over here. But that's about 560 by 256. So I can say instance underscore create. I forgot what I said. Dang. 560 by 256. 560, 256, comma, obj underscore reverse. And better yet, to save up some space, this also saves up space when creating your room, so your game can run faster. So this actually saves space. I can delete my player, and I can tell my game to create him. This says 16 by 272. So, instance, underscore create, I know I'm going to forget. 16, dang it. 272, wait, 272, I was right, 272, comma, obj, underscore, player. Now, all my settings are intact now. Just press the check and leave it at that. So now, obviously, I have nothing in the my game except the terrain. Now, when I show you it, though, I'm going to press play right here. No tricks. Platformer. Well, maybe the positioning was a little off. Maybe I didn't see that through the whole thing, but the objects are created. So if I touch it, I turn big. That's what the power-up was supposed to do. Yeah, the position was a little off, but so my mistake on that. Uh, I think I'm too big. Oh, wait. Then I can revert back to normal. And that's pretty simple. Creation codes are really easy to understand and use. They're helpful for setting up your game's specific elements. And they do save up space so your game can run faster. Using the actual room editor uses more space than just using creation codes. 
Well, this has been an original. We tried this production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Watch out for my next GML tutorial.